Hey, crystal blessings. What up, everybody? Today, I'm going to talk about a crystal for Aquarians. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I am not claiming at all, in fact, I say it all the time, that I am not an astrologer. I don't know a lot about astrology. I know about my own sign and I follow it because I do believe and see a lot of the alignments in it. Um, and the person who I follow along with when it comes to crystals that align with astrology is Edgar Casey. Uh, a while ago, he came up with certain crystal alignments that went along with astrological signs. I don't follow the gemological societies, the different ones that where they put out a crystal for a particular birth month and the birthstones because that really is kind of meaningless to me. So for Aquarius, Edgar Casey recommended garnet. Now there's several different types of garnet, but the one that I see most often recommended and that kind of seemed to make most sense to me was almondine garnet. And it's a deep, deep, deep red stone usually has no transparency in it and they when they're tumbled like this they look like black cherries um, on my blog I'll show you a larger sphere that I had that looked like a red um, galaxy just absolutely beautiful so um, the Aquarians let me see I had to write this down um, their birth dates run from January 20th to February 18th and I feel like after looking over the traits, the personality traits that run along with Aquarians, um, they're a water sign, but the reason why Edgar Casey went with the garnet is because it is a root chakra stone and it's very grounding. Um, it's all about strength and security and aligning with that root chakra. So it's probably for a balancing effect for Aquarians to want to work with an almondine garnet. Uh, it's aluminum silicate and it's relatively hard anywhere between well it depends on the type of garnet but between a six and a half to seven and a half on the Mohs hardness scale so um, you can find lots of jewelry pieces in garnet and they make a great birthstone as an alternative to whatever it is that they normally recommend for the birth month you know you can go with january or february but like i said i i tend to see a lot more sense in what Edgar Casey did with his astrological alignments than the regular birthstones. So I hope you found that helpful. And if you have other stones that you prefer to work with or that you also like to work with as an Aquarian or for Aquarians that you know, please post it in the comments on my blog. And by the way, a lot of you I know like to post comments in YouTube itself. And the way it's set up, it's not really conducive to commenting and answering back. Some people I can reply to, some people I can't. I don't know. So the best thing to do is click on the link below the video, come over to the blog, all the commenting and everything is happening there and we can reply back to you quite easily over there. Okay, so I hope to see you there and I will talk to you soon. Namaste. Bye.